know. Now, now a lot of people don't know this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Shantae, one of the more infamous joints Shantae had, she was going at all the female rappers and everything. You, you ain't that joint, didn't you? Yeah. You that's that point, light as a rock, you get crushed like a pebble. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I remember that joint. It, 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 you came on at the end, as a matter of fact. It was like, yo, I wrote this joint. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't produce that shit, actually. But that wasn't even my idea, you know what I'm saying? It was it was the um the owner of Cold Chillin' Fly Chai. He was trying to get her back on the map, so he was like, yo, matter of fact, yo, just write some, some shit just dissing all the female rappers. He so said shit now, you know what I mean? Like, if you really think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was crazy. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of chicks was mad at me behind that shit, y'all. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Now, take me back to that period, you know what I mean? The, the cold chilling era, and you want to label with, I guess, like legends in the game. Now, we talking Kane and, 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 and Biz and, and um, yeah. G-Rap. What was that, the atmosphere, the recording? I mean, I guess you were like, kind of like post juke crew. Yeah, I came, like, when that shit had to dissolve, you know what I'm saying? But they all were still signed to the label and shit. This was before Kane had um, left and shit. But um, I don't know. Like, Kane, me, me and Kane ain't really, you know what I'm saying, kick it at first because he thought he thought that Biz was trying to be on some bullshit with him because, you know, he, he had blew up. But Biz had blew up as well. But I thought he, he thinking that that Biz was trying to get on some bullshit by getting me signed. And he, he named me fucking Granddaddy IU, so this nigga's Big Daddy King, so he thinking that this is some competition bullshit that Biz got going on, but it wasn't even, wasn't even like that, but we straightened that shit out. I mean, you know, you know, well, I ain't really, I fuck with G-Rap. G's my man. Right. He's, yeah, G's my man. Um, Shawnee, Shawnee's one, like, Shantae, that's my, like, she's my sister, you know what I'm saying? Even though I was fucking with her sister on a double down low, but me and her, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like brother and sister and shit. Like, I don't know, it was cool. It was cool. It wasn't what I expected, but you know what I'm saying? Like, before I, before I met a lot of rap niggas, you know, I've had a, a whole different perspective. Of, I'm thinking like these niggas is like some real live niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Uh, and it wasn't even like that. A lot of rap niggas, I said, like, oh shit, get the fuck out of it. This nigga's going <laughs> like this? Like, wow, it was, what? Overall, oh, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I really, I stick to myself, really, so I wasn't there to make friends, even though know, some people did, you know, me and them became cool, some of them. Yeah, 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 but then you had the whole suit, and, you know, you had the suit and the smooth look, yeah. you know what I'm saying, too, so I guess I could see where, where the, uh, where the offense, you know what I mean, might have came that's from. It. That shit came from my man, I used to fuck with my man on the block, this nigga was an older nigga, OG nigga. This nigga every day got a motherfucking suit and a motherfucking top hat on. This nigga be on the curb rolling dice in a motherfucking three-piece suit. <laughs> but he was the smoothest motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And when I got on and shit, I was like, man, a wild beat and all that shit. And he was like, nah, son, you can't come out like that. You gotta be some other shit. I fuck with this nigga. I start wearing a motherfucking suit and then the, the nigga the fly top. I was like, nah, you gotta do that shit all the time, nigga. <laughs> Kenny had a party, an album release party, a birthday party. And I came to the party. I just had like some wallabies and, you know, some regular shit on baseball hat. Nigga grabbed me up, like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? Like, like somebody, like, yo, man, don't ever come to no motherfucking party with some cameras and shit without your suit on. Right. It's like, you lost your motherfucking <laughs> You lost your one well, fucking mind, man, but that shit became like whatever the gimmick or whatever it was. Like niggas got used to seeing me and that shit, so we just ran with it. That shit is hot. That shit is hot. Now, now I think I read somewhere where you you, you might have had a little a little friction with Jizza. Nah, it wasn't no friction. What it was was that the, the label was paying so much attention to me, and you know what I'm saying not too much attention to him. So you know how that shit go. Yeah. And you're like, yo, my shit's hot too. Well, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't had no, I ain't had nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? They, they made that decision. Right. But right. later on, you know what I'm saying? When he went his own separate way or whatever, when he got down with the Wu Tang shit and they blew up, 
that shit nigga on the first jingle, that nigga said some bullshit about um, the cold stealing label or whatever the fuck. And they don't know the meaning of dope when they looking for a suit and tie rap that's cleaned in the bar of soap. Yeah. Now, come on. Who, who the fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I ain't fucking stupid. But I ain't seen the nigga for a long time after, you know what I'm saying? I seen the nigga one day in Brooklyn, like, yeah, nigga, I know that slick shit. We just laughed it off, but whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't no physical confrontation shit, but... Yeah, he took a he took a little jab. <laughs> well, so where where you know what I mean like that ever right there? I guess from that period and then, um, cold chilling dissolving all together. You know what I mean? Like, tell me like from that period, I guess to um to the to the um to the EP or the LP dropping last year. Like, you know what's been cracking? You've been doing production. You just fell back. Like, what what's what's been going on? I was like, me, I, like 90, I think, what the fuck, I didn't get out, I didn't actually get out of contract to like, I think 97 or some shit, the niggas just kept me in the contract, even though they didn't have no fucking label. You know, okay. I don't know. I don't cool know. Chilling or Warner Brothers yeah. and stuff? Nah, Cold cool Chilling chillin'. stuff, okay. I mean, they, they had the label, but they ain't had no distribution deal. Wow. So, but they had still had me tied into the contract, like, waiting until they could ever get a fucking distribution deal again but they never could do nothing because they had fucked their own self up from doing you know what i'm saying fucking shady business for all right. years so yeah so then when i when i finally got out of that shit i was lost in the sauce man for really well i still was recording this shit but niggas was like ah man you niggas you old school not even hearing what i had you know what i'm saying right 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 they automatically just associated me with that old shit but Niggas ain't realized, man. I, I, I ain't fall off ever, 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 ever. ever.